Hey guys, welcome back to the layout. We're on part 11C and today we're going to be finishing up our Author Genesis SD7, the ACE. In part A, we did the install of the Digitrax DH165AO decoder and I've since then installed the Digitrax SFX004 soundbug to it with a Soundtrax uh, one inch round speaker and I've downloaded some uh, custom uh, EMD 710 uh, sounds, prime mover sounds that I've been working on uh, for a while now. In part B we did the install for the uh, ditch lights and now in part C we're going to be installing the uh, headlights and putting it back together. I've did a little bit of prep work uh, to get in here uh, and better service the headlights, so I had to take the uh, cab off the rest of the shell. And I did that by removing four screws here. And you can see where the four screws were set here on the cab. And one additional screw for the uh, cab interior. And of course the top and the magnet. So remove those few screws. Uh, from the oops, bottom, uh, the cab will simply come right out. Just be real careful with your handrails. Uh, being that this is not there, they're pretty easy to break. Actually, I left these on here just here so I wouldn't bust them off the front. Um, I purchased some LEDs. Another YouTuber uh, turned me on to this company. Uh, Paul, you know who you are. LED switch, I bought uh, some yellow which I may use for um, some rotary lights down the road and I also got uh, some white ones here for the headlights and I had to on this one drill out the hole for the headlight just a little bit bigger I used, uh, what was it, a 564 bit which was actually just a fuzz too big but it worked just fine uh, at least for this model, I noticed on some of the cottles that the uh, LED uh, went right in. And I'll try to do this uh, here one handed with the camera from the front just to show you that it'll slide right in pretty snug. I may use a drop of glue, I may not. And it'll go right in there. And when I mount this uh, from the other side and wire it up, I think it'll look pretty nice. Okay, I went ahead and uh, put this on some colored paper so you hopefully can see a little bit better. I'm taking the LED and we're cutting off these ends a little bit shorter so they fit inside the cab. I'm going to be attaching a blue wire to the positive side of the LED, which is also the anode side, with a blue wire. Uh, blue wire being the uh, correct color for the part of the decoder, uh, being the positive common. On the shorter negative side, uh, the cathode side of the LED, I'm going to cut this two ends of the resistor off a little bit. I'm going to solder it on here. Uh, at the other end with the white wire, uh, which is the correct color wire for uh, the front headlight, uh, in the uh, decoder, which is also the MNRA standards. So after I do that, it should look something like this. LED, resistor, blue and white wires. I'll throw some shrink wrap or some electrical tape to keep that from making accidental contact and to protect that a little bit. And then once we get that, we can solder the remaining two ends onto the Digitrax DH165 board just like we did with the 
uh, ditch lights. Okay, so I got my bulb and the uh, leads uh, ready and put a piece of shrink, uh, heat shrink tubing on there. And if I just throw it on here for a second, just to give a little bench test. There we go. Everything seems to work pretty good. Okay, so I got the bulbs placed inside the cab and snug in the headlight housing. I may use a drop of glue uh, just to secure them a little bit further. Uh, one thing I did notice uh, is that these were just a touch too tall. I had to trim, trim them down a little bit so they wouldn't stick out too far past the headlight housing. And I just used my Crumble with a cutting wheel and I just shaved them a little bit. I really couldn't give you a, a good measurement. I just honestly just eyeball, eyeballed them a little bit. But they're there and they look good and I'm going to give it a final test and we're going to put this back together. And like I mentioned before I'm putting the cab back on the shell. There are five screws two here and two there and again one there in the middle holding the uh, seat or the compartment inside the cab and as long as you're careful without busting any handrails off it should just screw right back in. Make sure you keep your wires free and open that they're not caught up anywhere else in the shell that you've pulled them all the way through uh, when you're reapplying it and you should be good to go. Okay next we're going to attach the wires to the Digitrax DH165 board. Now I find with these uh, don't work so well for some reason on this particular board. Uh, Digitrax says they put a very small amount of uh, voltage out which only illuminates certain light bulbs. Uh, in my opinion they don't put out any voltage. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the white wire here and the bottom one which is the uh, function side of the decoder and we're going to put the blue wire here and this non-tin part, I'll tin it in a moment, uh, part of the decoder which will supply the power, it's a positive common for the blue and when we do that uh, we should have power to the headlights. Okay, we got everything wired up. We're gonna do it a bench test. We said white, which is the third one from the uh, top here, and the blue, and we have nice bright LED headlights. These are the sunny yellow lights. Um, I tried the other ones, although they look pretty good. Uh, they had that blue tint to it, so I went with these, and we'll try these. All that's left for me to do is to reapply the ditch lights and put them in their housings and this one's ready to go.